lot of people ask us, you know, how we became behind the mask, good friends and everything, how, how we met, how this all take place. And uh, it's different, though. It's, it's a little bit of a difference between you and me. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the mask. <laughs> Two. <laughs> it's, it's good. Hey, man. man. What up, family? I ain't even ask you like, well, what's good now, bro? Like, <laughs> we just we just finished having a little heated debate topic. Yeah. That we had to come on here and talk about it. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to figure this whole thing out. A lot of people ask us, you know, how we became behind the mask, good friends and everything, how, how we met, how this all take place. And uh, it's different, though. It's, it's a little bit of a difference between you and me. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> And the exchange got heated. Yeah, most of that. Most so of that. that's why, man, we're about to address this, bro. Yeah, got to. You know, got most you. people can't really handle this. This is kind of like a little vulnerability, showing yeah. some, I guess. Yeah, we're going behind the mask, a little sparring match. A little sparring? Yeah. Get, get the shit off your chest, man. That's how you feel? That's how I feel, I bro. think you got more to get off your chest than I do. Listen, man. All right. Listen, man, this is what we're going to do. It started by people ask, like, how did y'all get so close? Mm -hmm. And bottom line is, we became close because, like, we got a lot of the same similarities. Mm -hmm. But for as many similarities that we do have, we have some strong, like, not similarity. <laughs> Some differences. <laughs> Huge in differences, dog. Yeah, yeah. But I think that kind of evens us out yeah. to where, you know, we can sound and see the fun in both sides. Yeah. You know, like I pick you up here, you pick me up there. But right now, I, I just I just need to let you know, bro. Listen, man. It works for you. Some things that work for you don't work for me. And that's all right. You know what I'm saying? As long as I'm held accountable. Yeah. And as structured as you are. In life, back with his teammates, with your regiment, with your diet, with your workouts, and all of that, it's, it's a little, you know, a little bit different. That works for you, and that's fine. I know it, man. But this, but, the, I'm structured. Yeah. And I know, you know, I mean, I know a lot of that just came from how I was raised. But then, like some other things in life too, like it just makes me feel better. It makes me feel like I started a mission from A to Z. Finished it, and I'm feeling so self-accomplished. Yeah. You, on the other hand, Mr. Ray Ass, <laughs> I don't need to, it ain't even structured. Nah. Well, what it, is it? It's sponta spontaneity. Spontaneity. Like, you're structured. You go from A to Z in a, you know, in a linear plane. You get there with this task, this, this, that. I'm like, hey, I could go A to F, back to B, down to L. You know what I'm saying? As long as it gets done in the same time frame, that's all that matters. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know if you remember Usual Suspects, the movie, when um, they were sitting in the police precinct in the office and it was like a mess everywhere. And the dude was like, why don't you clean this stuff up? And he's like, yo, it all makes sense if you just sit back and look at it. So while it may be, you know, going crazy in your head and, and you may not see the structure, when it comes together, it all works out, man. And that's, that's a beautiful thing. It's, a, it's an amazing trait to have. And just like you said, that was part of your upbringing, <clears throat> for me, I can equate it to something as simple as playing offensive line, yeah. right? You have a plan where you get to the line of scrimmage, right? Get down to the line of scrimmage, defensive line in front of you, the quarterback's barking out the signal. You still got 70,000 people screaming. So all of these different things going on in your head, but you still got to remember to play. Now the defensive line switches. So instead of me going this way to block him, I got to block this, block him over here. Then the quarterback's like, oh, easy, easy, check, check, check. Now the snap count switches. Now the play goes to a whole nother side, and I still have to come out low, hands inside, feet planted, 
with as much intensity and purpose and aggression as I can for this play for four or five seconds or for signal. But all of that, I still got to remember the snap count. So I can still do this. I can have multiple processes going on at the same time and still get my job done. That's why it works for me. You was a linebacker. All you do was see ball, get ball. Like, oh, I'm just going to go here. He has the ball here. So it didn't. It, you don't have to do all of that stuff. Well, you got to have a structure up front to have a defensive line to tell them which way to go, which way to align. But to your point, you just made me think about this. Since you can go do all of this, that explains why when we go places, not all the time, but certain times, you don't have all the details given out to everybody. And when we get there, it's like, yeah, yeah, man. You know, we just so, let's just chill out right here. And yeah. I'm like, two, what we waiting on, man? Let's get on up in there, man. <laughs> nah, man, I just, my man's coming around here. And he don't make sure we good. I'm like, so what you saying? Like, either we good or we ain't or what's up? No, nah, no, nah, he just got it. just got to be him to come over here. I'm like, man, you don't got me out the house to be coming up here to hurry up to sit up here and wait. But and do, that's the spontane what spontaneous part of you. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Do we not get it done? Every concert we've ever went to, every place we've ever gone, every club we get to, yeah, it may take a, a hot extra five seconds or something like that. But do we not still enjoy ourselves? That's how it works out. That's the great thing about it. You just want the straight green light. Okay, we get there. This is perfect. The seats are here for the concert. Da da da. It's like nah. Let us get there. And figure out where we're gonna be seated at. You know what I mean? We still get to see the Man, show. I don't want that stress in my life. It ain't stress. How's it stress? It's, it's stress spontaneity. because we don't even know what we said in that The movie. bottom line is, as long as my story checks out, as long as what I say... Oh, it checks out. <laughs> as long as my story <laughs> checks out, I'm saying like, yo, boo, we going to XYZ concert. We go there. Do we have the tickets? Don't worry about the tickets. The tickets will be there when we get there. All right. Are the tickets not there when we get there? Don't worry about the dinner when we get to the place. Do we have a section? Do we have a table? Yeah, we'll have a section. Where's it at? My man got it covered. Where's your man at? Let me deal with that. As, as long as it happens, you shouldn't complain. And I, there's a lot of our friends. I don't know what the hell y'all be complaining about because at the de end of the day, as long as two get it done, it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, but you make people have a heart attack. Y'all major, what you say? Don't major in the minor? What you worrying about? Literally, when is it? Can I worry about the dinner then? Because we can talk about the differences in that. Proceed. All right. We get ready to, let's go out and eat good. Yeah. I give it uh, one thing that comes to mind when we go eat good. What's that? You want to eat steaks. I'm Fact. cool with that. But we can't, good and steaks just can't be, they they can't be parallel with each other all the time, too. <laughs> so when you want to go eat good, I give you, no, example today. Bro, what you, what, you, what you looking at grabbing? Let's grab some grub. Yeah, man, I think I'll just... I said, no, I said, I found this place. We can get some pizza. Right. Plant-based. Dairy-free. You looked up at me and was like, plant-based? I was like, yeah. Okay, well, I think I'm going to get a cheese pizza. <laughs> I was like, who... What the... F <laughs> You, man, you 40 some years. You eating a cheese? Who eat cheese pizzas anymore, bro? Yo, cheese pizza. That's how pizza was traditionally made from New York, bro. It's like a cheese pizza. What are you supposed to do? Add all this extra stuff to it? Yeah. Like, because you got this eclectic palate. You from Sandersville, Georgia. You know what I'm saying? By way of Atlanta. But you got this eclectic palate that you just want everything to be like escargot and damn, uh, what, what's, the, what's the fish eggs? What is it? Caviar, you know what I'm saying? And all this exquisite champagne taste and stuff. It's like, yo, bro, eat what makes you feel good, makes you full. I remember we went to Turks and Caicos on vacation. And again, back to the structure and this whole eclectic palate that Mr. Tequila Spikes has. We on vacation, bro. Now, I will give it to you. You said, okay, give us the menu before we go. Give us the things you want and don't want. We didn't get that back to didn't you. Didn't do it. We didn't get it back to Which you. Which is bullshit. That shit <laughs> totally like drives, hey. We, Go ahead, your story, no, your we story. We get it back to you, but at the same time, we're like, all right, how many different food items can you possibly have? So me and Carlos like, bet whatever is going to be there, it's going to be there, we're just going to eat. But then you took us out the, that, that one night to dinner, and amazing restaurant, don't get me wrong, but it was a seven-course meal in Turks with some amazing dishes that was like this small. Like, what I'm going to do eating a, a fish gill 
that's like this small because Tequila <laughs> Spikes wants Turks and Caicos Caribbean fish gills. Like, who eats that, bro? Oh, yeah, and what man. do we wind up doing? What? Getting a hamburger. That's Getting what you hamburger. wound up doing. Yeah. And then what, what did you do? I didn't get no hamburger. Nah, the waiter came and you came back. You said, uh, excuse me, excuse me. This doesn't fit my palate. Like, it did. <laughs> Two, it was the one. <laughs> Yo, What's bro. wrong with that, bro? Oh man, you you act all exquisite, man. You a bougie dude, bro. Since we calling each other, that's how out. we act from the video, man. Shout out Look to Waco, you. man. Yeah, yeah. Man, it's like sometimes you just gotta go with what works. You know what I'm saying? And I know y'all tease me about certain things that I eat. You you were the first person to say I think you and Deshaun Foster that I had the palate of a seven year old. That ain't really cool. I never did get over that. But at right. the same time, that was back then. That now was back it's then. like you pushing like twelve. Right, for real. For you eating cheese pizza, I really should put you down to a five-year-old family. <laughs> Listen, bro, it's certain things that you got to... For me, I got to stay with what works because it's worked for me for 40-something years. Birthday just passed, just turned 45. It's worked for me. It's worked for everybody that's around me. Now, you may have some arguments around the way, you know, along the way, I should say, but it works. Anytime we go out somewhere to eat, we eat good. Anytime we go out somewhere to kick it, we kick it hard. Anytime we go out somewhere and it doesn't seem like it's structured, it always works out. Now you, you're like the the half was the half empty guy. <laughs> you know, you're like, oh, you know, it could be a little bit more. It should be this. Should be that. I'm searching for more. Nah, I'm a half full guy. You be like, yo, two, where you at? Come on, man. We got we ain't got but thirty minutes to get there. We gonna be late. I'm like, all right, bro, yo, we got 30 minutes. We be all right. We're going to be on time. That's the going back to our NBA classes. Okay. But it goes back to the structure, though. For me, it's like, man, I'm down here. I need to get these papers. I ain't trying to go in there and be in there no longer than I have to. Meaning, not just for the day, like peeling back the layers. No Super lies in behind. The no lies in the lounge. If it's something I say I want, I will damn near drop everything, everything in order to accomplish it mm. or get it. And so, like, we down there taking classes at the U. Mm. And I'm like, all right, bro, let's let's be on time, bro. Let's get ready to go. <laughs> How much time we got? Oh, 30 minutes. Mind you, it take 25 with no traffic. At least get a five-minute buffer, which is still pushing it. But I'm cool with that. All right. Consistently, dog, you can. It went from, <laughs> oh, we got thirty minutes. The next day, oh, we got twenty nine minutes. The next day, damn, two. Me and Lowe's. <laughs> make we can make it in twenty minutes. I know this shortcut. Like, come on, dog. Like, if it's out there to be gotten, I'm trying. I ain't leaving nothing for nobody. You know what I mean. You on the other hand, time just you allergic to time or being on time. You know what this is? What? You hear that? Drum roll. I move at the beat of my own drum, man. You know what I'm saying? So clearly. <laughs> clearly. Did it not work out? Again, did it not work out? And I forget, though, because it was a couple of times you actually left me and you actually just got in the car, left, and I had to Uber to class, yo. That was fucked up, though, bro. No. No friends I, left behind, bro. Did I tell Listen. Not, like, how, did I not tell you, too? I even gave you 24 hour, at least an 18 hour notice. Hey, man, we leaving on time tomorrow. But what happened after that? Which goes back to your offensive line story. You get down. You see the defensive line. They moving chaotic. You know what you did? You made the adjustment, and you were on time moving forward. <laughs> <laughs> it was messed up, though. But why? Yo, see, that's the, I wouldn't have left you, though. That's the thing. I would have came in there like we can't both be late. Like, what they going to say we both late? So I got to walk in by myself because y'all left me? Take favor away from both of us. That's what they're going to do. Nah, because we together. At least the excuse can check out. You know what I'm saying? And then what happens, think about it then. You want to talk about the NBA class. So what happens when I'm pushing the envelope, burning both ends of the candle, team no sleep, but Tequila's like, no, I want to get some sleep. I'm going to get some rest because you're so structured. You go to sleep, who's left finishing the papers with the NBA class? Staying up to 5 o'clock knowing we got to get up in a couple hours to go to work. Me. I give you that. Me. So how you going to leave me after I finish the damn paper for us? Because going back previously, 
I was like, hey, we need to get this in. Y'all want to yeah, BS yeah. around from like from nine to like one or two and say, okay, we ready. Man, it's time to go to sleep. Listen, man. I can't get nobody nothing. <laughs> I can't get nobody nothing. You ain't, well, I ain't gonna say everybody, but I'm just saying, I ain't giving the majority of people nothing. Listen, man. That late, bro. I guess I'm talking- <laughs> Listen. <laughs> no lies in the lies. No. <laughs> no lies in the lies, bro. Nah, man. But even with that, so you on time. I'm not on time. What happens? We have an exam. I'm in the class. I missed the class, right? Yeah. Because we had the day we call it Tuesdays. On Mondays, we used to hang out, get the steak dinner and everything. You never wanted to go. I forced y'all to go, come out, hang out. Monday on South Beach, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Next day, you know, a little, little hurt. But what y'all didn't know is I did all of my work the day before. So I'm good. We go into class. I might miss half the class or something like that because y'all left me. And there's pictures out there. I ain't going to say there's pictures out there they took. We're not even going to post them. That's Yeah, we just going to go in this episode. No, it's not because we can't find it. But there's pictures out there of me sleep. But still, when I get to class, and then they go put a whole group text together and say <laughs> to send a group, <laughs> send the text of the picture of me sleeping the group text to the whole class. That was cool to you? We supposed to be true friends, yo. We are, but that, that, we were all teammates at that instance. See? And then still. So we only as strong as the weakest link. So I felt like everybody needed to know. And then guess what happened? And who, it worked. And who got the best grade still on the exams? I did. No, you didn't. You did, you did. No, you didn't. You I did. It. See I what I'm saying, man? So my it. structure works. Whatever I need to do to get through, to get by, to make things work and be the most. What does Camille say? It's not, um, it's not efficient, right? But it's effective because at the end of the day, things still work. They still get dumb, done at the timeline that it needs to get done on. So that's what I'm saying, man. You 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 worrying about the you worrying about the different parts of the journey, man. When the destination is still still gonna be there, bro. Enjoy the journey. Y'all so nervous and different personalities I, and all of that. Nah, but you man. do know one time I remember you came through for your boy. What's that? Because because my personality is so pop, 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 pop. Like, it was after I had tore my Achilles. Mm. Came back the next year and then tore my hamstring. And I'm like, man. I'm talking about the worst time in my life, bro. Yeah. And you was like, I can't even remember what you said. You was in Buffalo. Yeah, we were in yeah. Buffalo. And I do remember you saying, you knew I was in the damn gutter. And you was like, man, let's let's just go out of the country, bro. Yeah. Mind you, it was during the season. <laughs> it was during the season. And I was like... This is what I, what the fuck, what, what you, where we don't go out of the country? <laughs> and I looked at you, and I don't know if I said it or not, but what was your response? My response was like, yo, work hard, play hard, man. We got 24 hours. You came out of treatment. I said, yo, bro, let's just go ahead and go up to Toronto real quick. And I wanted to fight you on it. 24 hours to live, baby. Because I was like, nah, I need to be rested up. I need to, like, I, you know, I need you to, want to be rehab. ready. Yeah. I wanted to rehab and be ready. Yeah. And you was like 24 hours to live. And I asked you where. And you looked at me and it was just like Toronto. Yeah. And I was like, bags packed in 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I will say this. As much as, you know, we don't, we got similarities, or we didn't see eye to eye on that, on a lot of things, that trip right there. That trip probably brought us together closer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? More than anything, bro. I appreciate that trip. No doubt. No doubt. I really do. No doubt. See, so some things works out. We call Al. He's like, how we going to drive? We don't want to, you know what I'm saying, drive up there an hour and something away. I said, yo, I call Al. Al flew up, drove up, drove us up there to Toronto. We kicked it, had a great time. And every had an amazing time. But then, structured to Keo, we like, yo, we're going to chill for the rest of the day, grab brunch, and then head back to Buffalo on the off day. You left. You got a call. You left early and went back to treatment. So you were structured. You did it the right way. Yeah, I did. And then we got your call back in one piece. Everything was straight. Everything worked out. 
you feel so much better by listening to your boy. Come over to the dark side, man. Come over to the dark side, yo. It's great over here, bro. And guess what happened <laughs> when I got back? What? Because mind you, I had to stay up all night to be able to get the car because we went out that night. So I'm walking in rehab just completely <laughs> hung over, smelling like a damn brewery. <laughs> a brewery, a damn vodka what distillery. The hell distillery. <laughs> Everything. Cognac back then, though. Good God man. almighty, that was a good night. Yeah, man. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Work hard, play hard, man. Look, we're only afforded a certain amount of time in the day, right? You know me. I push the envelope. Big bro Wally Williams said the first day, first season that he met me, he's like, something about you, man. You just love the rush. I love pushing the envelope to see, is it going to work? If it doesn't work, stop doing it. If you keep doing it, you're not good at it. But keep pushing it. So until, and, and my mom my mom said it too. She's like, you're lucky. Nothing's ever happened to you. Knock on wood. So you never really dealt with any major adversity, which is a great thing in 45 years, bro. So it's worked for me. So I'm not changing it. I'm going to continue to eat my cheese pizza and chicken fingers. I'm going to continue to eat Even my Even in different countries, he ordered chicken fingers. Nah, nah. I only order chicken fingers when there's nothing else to eat. You know what I'm saying? Y'all putting that on me too hard now. You know what I'm saying? But I like, why not? Live life, bro. You only got one life to live. And I get it, it's structured. Structure is boring, though. It's boring. Not, not you know how much, me, it ain't. You, how much time do you actually, I'm not going to say waste. How, many time, how much time do you allocate composing or compiling your structure to do a certain task? Just as much time, more time, than it does, than it takes to do the actual task, right? Right? Is that a fair assessment? I would say, no, it don't take that long. For you? No. Bro, no lies in the lounge. No lies in the lounge. If I set my day up, it ain't going to take no, it take me probably 15 to 20 minutes uninterrupted. It, the problem is, if when the interruption arrive, <laughs> arrives, uh, that's the problem. Nah, man. That's why it turns into an hour. Maybe even two. And every time you around, you got the damn, man, I don't want to hear your ring on your phone, the ring doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, it always works out. Another prime example, back to the NBA class. This is why it works out. There was a time where we were not prepared for um, a, pro a presentation we had to give. Remember that? Me, you, and Los, and I think uh, maybe Carlos Dunlap, somebody else was within our group. We, we, had, a, uh, we had a presentation to give. And the presentation was on should employers should employers get their employees or potential employees social media. Yep. And we went up there. We were like, damn, what are, we, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? They asked us to present first. We was like, nah, we the oldest ones in the class, so somebody else present. So we had time, that much time to make it up to come up with something. I should say. Yeah. So it, Carlos, which was true, which was true. But we. We put it all together. We put it together on, yeah. on the spot. You came up with this scenario with Jakai, with the nanny with Jakai, yep. in terms of what you saw her doing uh, on her social media when you were about to hire her. Totally false. And saying she was twerking and all this stuff, so why would you hire her? Carlos said that working with B-51 and Wet Willies, that it may be a good thing to do. And I'm like, it's a great thing to do. Just don't tell them you're going to do it. And that's a synopsis of it. But we, we finished... In a what three minute maybe huddle to get yeah. it together. Yeah, went up there and got a standing ovation from the teacher, a professor from the class, and it worked out. And what happened when we went to the back to our seats? What did they say? Hell of a job. Hell of a job. You guys must have prepared all night for that presentation. It was so well put together, so well structured. Everything. What did I say? We actually did it while y'all was up there. <laughs> <laughs> we made it up on the fly. All that structure. Sometimes it's good to just, just, just go with it. Freestyle, make it work. You know what I'm saying? And do the best of your ability. And if you have that, everybody doesn't have it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no. Nah. That's nah. a special gift. Man. Yeah. So, But sometimes that works out just as well. And nah, again. It, it, it does. Some people call it pr procrastination. I like, yo, 
I'm up against the clock. That's what we got clocks for. You know how much time you got left? You know what I'm saying? Versus, you know how much time you got left versus looking at how much time you got to a, to get everything done. In the NBA, who are the greatest? The ones that make the buzzer beaters. Three, two, one. And that's a great play, a great highlight. Football, who the ones that make it at the end? The Hail Marys, the field goal kicker that, you know, kicks the game when the field goal. Yeah. A lot of rush, man. It's easy to just no. structure, have a blowout, man. It's about the rush, baby. <clears throat> you got to get involved, man. That's your problem, man. You too, you, you know, you too... Mm. I, That's your right. <laughs> you too tense, bro. <laughs> Live a little, man. You kidding me? Live a little, man. <laughs> I'll give you another example where mm. my process worked perfectly. Remember you came out with Tequila Spikes Presents Behind the Mask, the linebacker edition? Yep. Right? And you had a book release here in Atlanta, and your guy Rob Vaca was like, yo, we need somebody to go up there and help auction off these auction items that you provided. So you had immaculate vacations and, you know, a bunch of incredible high-end items. So he came to me and I'm like, all right, sure, what am, what am I gonna do? Make it make it work. Y'all didn't give me a script. Y'all didn't say, y'all didn't tell me beforehand, two time, we want you to do this, be a part of this. You were like, do this in real time on the spot. Remember that? Yeah. And what did I do? Nailed it. Nailed it. Went up to the stage. You nailed it. Came out there. You did. Came up with the just remember. <clears throat> so I, I'm trying to see and figure out where did you get, how did you learn how to talk like the auctioneer? So remember, you know, staying up late. When you flip through the channel, sometimes you see the, the car auctions and, and the cars run by, and they're like, we have a beautiful 1970 Cadillac DeVille. We're going to take the first bit. 25, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, Dion, uh, Dion Grant's charity supported behind the mask. So it worked. So I'm just saying, there, there are ways that processes work for me. Could Tequila Spikes have done that? Of course. But, not even but, of course I could have. Okay. I forgot about the NBA class. Oh, true, true. Several other things. We don't have okay. enough tape for that today. <laughs> but we do have enough tape for is this. I, I don't like it, but I deal with it. <laughs> so this is what we're going to do. Oh, I'm going to try your approach. And then in turn, you try my approach. So like be structured and regimented. No, just just a recommendation to break okay. to okay. break one thing that we do on a consistent basis. Okay. So like, let's take for an example, uh, maybe food. <laughs> so versus you going to get chicken fingers, asking for ketchup and honey, honey mustard. mustard. Yeah, honey mustard. Now let's. I need you to try that tuna tartare, bro. Come on. I'm bro. just saying, man. It don't even start with a P either. <laughs> because you're the same man that said yeah. what. I don't eat nothing that start with a P. All right. Yeah. So. No pistachios, no pecans. You got pistachios. I don't like them. No popcorn, pancakes, pump and nickel. None of pork. That. No pork. Damn, my dad had pizza. Yeah. But I didn't get pizza. Remember, I, I was going to get a burger. You eat peanuts. I don't eat peanuts. All right. But now, nah, I'm, I'm willing to, you know what I'm saying? I'm willing to break the cycle, if you will. Add something new to the... Uh, you know, the repertoire. Good. See if this works. All right. And what, and you got to do the same thing, though. I mean, All right. you got to be spontaneous and, you know what I mean, just just go with the flow and make it work, knowing that everything is going to work out in the end. All right. You think you can do that? I'll do it. All right, we'll see. We got a deal, then. We got a deal? Spot on. All right. We'll see. Behind the mask.